Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the vlog. This is my friend Haley. Hello. We are in, where I almost said Richmond, Virginia. Lynchburg. We're in Lynchburg, Virginia. Jason is touring with the band Vacation Manor. If you guys have been following me on my channel for a while, you've seen a lot of these tour vlogs. We're in Lynchburg right now for a couple of days. We're gonna be spending Halloween here and then we're gonna be <laughs> headed to like DC, Boston, New York. New York. So I thought I'd vlog because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. But I wanted to introduce you to Haley because we're also gonna be doing a thrift video, so oh, you'll yeah. see that as well. And I wanted you guys to see her home because <laughs> I like got in here and I was like, you guys have to see it because it's all thrifted and cute. It's all just like really well curated. So I thought Haley could give us a home tour. Let's do it. Welcome to my crib. What do we got here? Okay, well, air mattress and all. Yeah. Normally this isn't here, duh. This is the living room. <laughs> this is real life. This couch, let me tell you about this. West Elm, originally $1,800. Facebook Marketplace, $300. Oh my gosh, okay, and then what's this little leaf thing? This is just a palm leaf that I actually used in my wedding. Oh, cute. I got married two months ago. That's right! I got it at Goodwill for 99 cents. The most random, trendy Wait, it's huge leaf. too. I like, know, it's literally huge. Like, <laughs> this is my hand. Okay, we both appreciate a good deal, a good thrift deal. We love it. So basically everything I think in here is... Look at this, this beautiful media in, like table. A, definitely not a thrift store, an antique store, but it was only $100. That's so good this though. This rug, $75, Facebook Marketplace. You're killing it. It's that newlywed life. We're all broke and we're just trying to furnish a home. You. This little guy has a very good story. This is my newest piece. Chloe was here on the day that I got it. This was in a thrift store. I asked if I could buy it. The lady said, no, we need it for storage. Mind you, it had like 10 things on it. I just was really, um... Persistent. Persistent. Sweet and talking her into she it. she basically agreed if I switched out the stuff so that she wouldn't be without storage, she would just give it to me. So, and if you've seen these things online, so the So good. They're like... Look how gorgeous this thing is. It's in really, really good condition yeah. too. Basically found a really cheap Ikea shelf on Facebook Marketplace, bought that, <laughs> and then I switched it out, and here we are. Okay, dining room. Look at um, the back on those um, chairs. My mother-in-law thrifted those for us. Wait, and cute. I literally just gave her like a task of things I wanted, and she found them. This I bought off my friend. What is this window? Actually, my brother made it for me. Wait, cute! It's like a graduation present when I graduated high school. I love that. Um, to like bring to college. And then this is the music room. This is our newest find out from Facebook Marketplace. This was an Instagram shop, like a furniture Instagram shop. Look yes. The kitchen, there's not that much thrifted in here, but. Oh, you guys, you should check out Haley's thrifting Instagram page. <laughs> she thrifts home goods and then she ships them out. So At I'll link it down below. Home. For this cute little kitchen. I love this little, little farmhouse sink. Thing. And the toaster. <laughs> One of our dreams. Okay, floor is really cute. Was the rug thrifted? Yep. And this um, little blue tub. Little blue tub. This little thing was thrifted, which I love. Obviously, you can tell I love wicker. This I want on an Instagram giveaway. Um, I love all the rugs. It adds really good texture. Thank you. We need a, I want a bigger rug for this room. This bed, I think, is really trendy looking, but it's from Ikea, so... No, it's so good. Right. Yeah. These side tables were from like a Habitat for Humanity, like restore. Really cute. Shop. This chair, side of the road for free. <laughs> we love it. Um, this both. The oh, dress cool. And the dresser. We're facing marketplace too. All right. If you had one tip for interior decorating, what would it be? My one tip is not about designing in general, but basically Rome wasn't built in a day. So if you mm. see all these things and you're like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. It took time for me to find the perfect dresser, but that doesn't mean you don't start making memories. That's and good. Living in the place that you love. I love it. And you guys are renting. Renting. So you know you're not going to be here for a while, but you and still you can, felt like settling in and making yes. it your own. And you can Which do it cute. on a budget, newlywed, single, whatever you're doing. Build things like my friend built this like she Oh, got. cool. You can do it. We love it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Die. Haley and I just got done thrifting and now we're getting ready for Jason's first show. Ever. Ever. And Jason's wearing his NBA Asia jacket. It's my dad's from that time he worked for the NBA in Asia. Hi Jay West, show us your outfit. NBA Asia jacket from his dad. Sweater Thrifted from sweater. Jeans from Mabel. Shoes from Nike. New Sherpa jacket from Mabel. My turtlenecks from Mabel. These cropped jeans are from Mabel and my shoes are from Fry. Get a little close up of that turtleneck room. Nathan Tolls. Howdy. From Vacation Manor. Hey, uh, no access here, okay? Family <laughs> only. Hey, what was your name again? We're inside a speaker tree, which is the venue that they're playing at. We got a chai. to 
lunch in his cute thrifted sweater. This is where we're grabbing lunch. Magnolia Foods. It's so cute. Love it. Homey little restaurant. There's also a market in here. It's just really adorable. Thought we'd show you a little outfit of the day. Jay Waz, what you got on right here? I started sweating, so I took my sweater <laughs> off. Now you've got it around your waist. Today I've got on a Mabel sweater. These jeans are from Mont and Beau. They're a brand out of New York. My boots are fried. And my bag is from Abel. <laughs> and it's and it's very fall. And we've got coffees. And my rings are from Rellery. And I'll link everything down below. So naturally, Haley and I ended up at Target. We're doing a little travel cosmetic haul, what we got so far. Toothpaste. A little tiny toothpaste. So we both got these. Ooh, yeah. These wipes from Burt's Bees are our favorite. So I got mini Christmas shampoo. Look how nice this Target is though. I mean, it's like a Sephora in here. Oh, dry shampoos. So we're just killing some time. Check out this Target. I mean, what is this place? Have you ever seen a Target this nice? I mean, maybe you have, but Nashville Targets do not look like this. <gasps> look at these cute little deodorants cute. compared to my hand. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a sucker for a good travel size anything. I want one of those beds that's just covered in pillows. pillows. How does Nathan feel about pillows? I think he probably thinks they're a huge waste of money. Jason laughs at pillows, <laughs> so we don't even have any decorative pillows on our bed. This is definitely the content that you guys did not ask for, <laughs> yet we're bringing to you. Look at this llama vase. <laughs> I mean, is it a pitcher? Is it a vase? But its mouth is oh, open. It's definitely a pitcher. It's a pitcher. Oh my Imagine gosh. Porn. Your llama's vomiting <laughs> milk <laughs> into your coffee every morning. Man, I haven't been in a good Target in a long time for self control reasons. It's happening. Christmas. The snow's falling down. Look at this tree. I love a good flocked, fake flocked tree. Oh. Ooh, my favorite beverage. This is brilliant. Dollars. Instead of a tree skirt, it's like a giant lampshade, but you put it around the base of your tree. That's brilliant. That's just a, basically, this vlog is just me and Haley hanging out because the men are never around. I was playing their music. What kind of This looks good. Kodiak cakes, protein pancakes. Would you get that? Uh, Aldi. Look at that. Killing it. You got bacon. Nothing better than dinner for dinner for breakfast. Oh gosh, breakfast, breakfast for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> this is how you make a pancake. Here we go, pancake 101. You get a little scoop. That's brilliant. Look at that beautiful pancake. Golden brown. All right, we are getting ready for Halloween. Got my unicorn hat on. Shout out to Goodwill. Shout out to Goodwill. And then Haley is applying her Avril Lavigne makeup. Oh my gosh. I'm just putting on the necktie, okay? The eyeliner. Got Avril. The boys will be in their costumes later. We're gonna be uh, applying some eyeliner to the boys. Follow them on Instagram at Night Traveler. <laughs> How are the low rise jeans treating you? Oh, they're uncomfortable and I really hope they never come back. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is in my eyes? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I have the tiniest neck in the world. <laughs> Look at your ass. I'm just looking at your face. Okay. Yeah, just shout it out to him. Looking good, honey. Who's this hot man? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Cute. Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing. Died of living like a blind man. Sick of sounding like a sense of humor. And this is how you remind me. Summer has come to pass The innocent can never last Wake me up when September ends In the van on the way to New York City It's a very full ride We are walking Cornelia Street for Haley. This is where Taylor Swift lives, and we just thought it'd be fun because why not? We're in New York.
cares this place. Where'd she go? Grabbing dinner at Tiny's. So pretty. Grabbing some dinner. Well, we're all splitting salmon because we're trying to be cheap. We know how to share. <laughs> we're trying to be cheap. We're trying to be bougie. We're going to just split right down the middle. This is where our line is. Don't, yeah. cross. Don't cross. Don't cross. Sisters. Haley and I are just really stabbing away. I got my bubble tea, brown sugar latte, and I saw him line the entire cup with chocolate and caramel. This might kill me, but when in New York, So after every show, we load out on the streets. <laughs> this is what the trailer looks like. Jay Waz is the king of packing. He has a vision and a specific way that he does everything. I know, he's a one on the Enneagram, so packing is very pleasurable for him. Late night pizza? Woo! From Rosa's Pizza. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm playing a little bit of catch up with this vlog because yesterday we arrived in Boston and did the same thing, load in show. Didn't feel like vlogging it, but today we have a day off in Boston and so we're gonna be just exploring the city. I wanted to show you guys this Airbnb that we're in though. We are in the teal room right here. And then this is where Jason and I were. This is the living room decor. Lots of patterns going on. Lots of patterns. <laughs> Jason and I are wearing. Look at our sweaters. Hi Theo. So we drove into Boston, couldn't find parking for the van and trailer. So now we're back in Cambridge and we're going to, where is it? Three Little Figs. The Three Little Figs, which is like a sandwich shop, but it's so pretty here in the fall and all the leaves. I can't believe it's already November though, so basically fall is almost over. <laughs> But I'm wearing my cute little turtleneck. Jason's got his pattern sweater on too. <laughs> we got this almond pastry donut thing. Look how good it is. It's so cute though in here. Okay, yeah. One, um, two. We all got one. Okay, I got this market sandwich and it has prosciutto, big jam, tomato, and goat cheese on it. We are headed to the garment district, which is this big building with apparently some really cheap clothing. Into this. These sweaters are amazing. Look, this is some toast. So I have not been in a place as cool as this in a very, very long time. So looks like I might actually find some stuff, which I'm really excited about because these places are huge. Like this whole rack is just faux fur. Bags are back here. So many fun bags. This place is so cute. I think this is a coach bag. Totally is. How cute is that? So this coach bag is $20. So this section is all of the vintage, which is really cool. This brown vintage jacket's really cute. I also love the pattern of these sweaters. I love that they separated out vintage clothing because if you're looking for like really unique pieces, you can go straight to the vintage. They have all of these like really fun hats. Here are the 80s and 90s women's sweaters. So funky. Every piece is just really, really, really cool. So have you guys ever had that problem where literally everything is so cute and perfect that you can't even like pick something that you like because like 
everything is just so good. Like, look at this jacket. Look at how warm this is. That's beautiful. Like, it's in really good condition. Does it fit? It fits perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. So now I am in the shoes section. And so far I've only found this sweater. Well, I found like a lot of stuff, but I'm trying to be really picky. So I think the sweater and then Jason still holding on to his coat. My favorite thing are all of the colors in each of these sections. So many colors and patterns. This is Hunter. Say hi, Hunter. Hi, everybody. What's your favorite coffee? Uh, pour over is my favorite coffee. And here's the thing, I always get it wrong when I do it at home, so I'm gonna watch and see exactly how they do it. <laughs> so I make the best And coffee. he does all of them at the same time. Pretty impressive. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah. Adam, okay, so Nate. So I just got home and back with my sweet Riley girl. Every time I do a vlog or any type of travel video, one of you guys are always asking me who watches Riley. And usually it's my mom, but this week my friend Malia watched her and they had a great week together. They went on lots of runs and they had lots of fun times together, but I'm so glad to be back with my girl. Basically, we just had like a few hours in Boston because we drove in, couldn't find parking. Then we drove back out of the city, did some thrifting, got lunch like I showed you, and then kind of like drove back into the city just to like walk around for a little bit. It ended up being a really chill day. This morning though, I woke up at 5.30, got to the airport by 6.30, flew from Boston into Lynchburg, Virginia. I got into Virginia at 1, then from 1 p.m. till now, it's 9 p.m. I have been driving back from Lynchburg, Virginia back to Nashville. And all so that I could see my girl Riley. But I thought before we ended this vlog, I could do a little bit of an unboxing because I got some stuff in the mail while I was out of town. So I thought why not just tack on a little unboxing here. I actually have a full unboxing video coming sometime soon as well. So there's gonna be lots of unboxings. I feel like you guys can see me pretty good. First package is from Missouri. For those of you who have been with my channel for a long time, you know that I have worked with Missouri a lot in the past and I stopped for a little bit, but we figured it all out and I am back as an affiliate for them. So if you do want 10% off of any Missouri pieces, you can use my link in the description box and get 10% off of anything off their website. They have the most beautiful gold jewelry. And, well, not just gold, they have silver as well, but they have the most beautiful fine jewelry and I am honestly so happy to be working with them again because I genuinely love their pieces. I wear them all the time. In this box, there's a little pouch, which this must be new because since I've worked with them last, they hadn't had these little pouches. Inside the pouch is one of their boxes like this. And then inside here is the piece. And this time I got these pretty pearl earrings. Look how gorgeous those are. So like I said, all of their pieces are really gorgeous and really, really nice quality. This is what the earring looks like though. It's super pretty. Pop it in so you can see what it looks like on. Honestly, if you go back and watch any of my past videos, you'll see that I've been working with them for a very long time. You will be seeing a lot more from Missouri in the future. They're just one of my favorite brands to work with and I'm super excited to offer that discount again if you want 10% off, like I said, linked down below. The next package is actually a vinyl for Jason, so I'm not gonna open that, I'll let him open that guy up. Next thing is from Glossier, and I didn't even know that they had sent this over because I was out of town, but my friend who was watching Riley texted me and was like, you got something from Glossier? And then I saw that they launched their new eyeliner. I am so excited to try this out. I almost went to the Glossier store in Boston to buy it just because I was so excited, but then I was like, if I buy it, I'm not gonna have time to film a video and edit it and get it up anyway, so I might as well just wait till I get home in their pink little pouch. First thing, I got a new bottle of this milky oil. I am so glad, I'm so glad they sent this over. This stuff is so good, and I'm really interested to see how this works with their pro tip eyeliner. I love this for removing any type of mascara or glitter shadow or anything like that. It's seriously so good. 
removes it really easily. They sent another one of their mascaras, which I am pumped about because I used this mascara all week while I was on tour with them. I love this mascara just because it's really natural looking. It also lasts all day and is really easy to remove without the milky oil, but even easier with the milky oil. So those two they sent over with the pro tip, but we'll do a little first impressions here. Like I said, I'm gonna do like a full review, trying it out and everything, but this is what it looks like, but it's called Pro Tip. And I'm going to link my 10% off discount down below. If you want to check out Glossier, you can get a discount. Looks like this. It honestly looks like their brow flick, but I think it should be like black because it's like an eyeliner instead. I'm so shaky. I've been driving all day. It is definitely a like precise tip. I'm so excited to try this out. I'm just gonna leave it on my hand. I cannot even possibly do a full video right now. I need to do it tomorrow once I'm rested. Go ahead and check out the discount for Glossier. Check out Pro Tip. Definitely snag their mascara and their milky oil if you do end up getting this because these two are already so good. So I will give you a full review on this later. Next is actually a piece for Like You. And because only a few of you guys check out my vlogs compared to like all my subscribers, there's usually like fewer of y'all who check out my vlogs and I greatly, greatly appreciate you watching my vlogs. So I want to give you a sneak peek into one of the pieces that will be launching probably in November. This one is a skirt, I believe. And I've been waiting for this one to arrive because it's so, so cute. I'm not gonna be able to try it on, but you guys should check out the Like You website, which will be linked down below. Sign up for our email list because that's where you'll get to see all the new arrivals as well as following us on our Instagram. You guys right on here, get a little sneak peek before anyone else does on any social media. Okay. So this is the piece and I promise you it's gonna look so much better in natural lighting and style and all that. But this is a first look at the new skirt that's gonna be launching. It is a high-waisted, true to size, kind of tiered, ruffled cheetah skirt. It has the smallest cheetah print. So honestly, from far away, it's not like ba-bam, a cheetah. It's really gorgeous. This would look amazing with any type of bodysuit or sweater over it. I am really, really excited about this piece launching. This one was one of my favorites that we ordered for the new fall collection. I'm probably gonna end up keeping one of these for myself. It's a maxi skirt. Look at this pattern, so cute. And my favorite part though is that it's like ruffled. Do you guys see that? It's like kinda ruffly. Anyway, it's super cute. We don't have a name for it yet, but I thought I would just show you that anyway because I get all these new arrivals in and then I can't really share them. But since it's here and not that many of you guys watch these vlogs, I figured why not just share that piece with you. And then the last thing that I got in the mail while I was gone are all of my Bloomscape plants. So if you guys watched my Like You office tour, you saw that a lot of my plants got burned in the car because I left them in the car during a photo shoot and it was too hot. So I reordered some plants from Bloomscape and I have worked with them in the past and I got them shipped here while my friend Malia was watching Riley. So I was like, hey, just so you know, there's gonna be like three giant plants being shipped to my place. Can you just drag them into the kitchen? I got a snake plant and these are pretty tall. A new rubber plant to replace my rubber plant. Very excited about this one because it's gonna be huge. I can tell once it's like opened up. And then I got this banana leaf, but I'm gonna take all of those over to my office tomorrow and ship out some orders that got placed while I was out of town. And if you guys have not checked out the Like You site, there have been a couple of releases in the last couple of weeks. We will be putting out new products every week. And like I said, you should just sign up for the mailing list or the Instagram so you can know what's going on or what pieces are releasing. I am oh so happy about my plants. Oh so happy to be home with Riley. Oh, we're so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour vlog and then my random unboxing that I did. If you guys love these type of vlogs like I do, I love filming these. I love just kind of opening up and being more of myself. I feel like I can be more of myself during vlogs than I can for like try-ons or stuff like that. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it or if you check out the Like You pieces or anything like that. Just leave me a comment. Just come say hey. But I will see you at my next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you.